Welcome back! Bible Contradictions! Alright, in this episode we have a self-proclaimed ex-Christian and proud heretic. Roll the footage! Because my first example of a contradiction between Paul and Jesus is when Jesus says that not everyone who says Lord, Lord will be saved. But yet Paul makes his case that everyone who calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. Pastor Trenton, what do you think about this? Hey, thanks Jim. Lady, that one single verse that you cited is actually a part of a passage, but even that passage needs to be understood in its proper context, which is actually Matthew chapter 5, verse 1, all the way through Matthew 7, 29. Oh, and by the way, it will become increasingly evident that throughout my rebuke, you always cite scripture out of its proper context and without any understanding of its historical significance. Now, in regards to this misoften quoted passage, as it turns out, I wrote an article on that. I suggest you thoroughly examine the depth beyond the surface. Now, for First and foremost, it is important to understand who Jesus was teaching in these passages. Jesus was not preaching to unbelievers, rather Jesus was teaching to a general crowd of believers who are potential disciples and specific individuals whom Jesus chose to be his disciples. Now this is all about fruit that will be evident from your genuine faith. And so Jesus exposed the people who sounded religious, yet they had no personal relationship with him. Thus, someone who claims to be religious or righteous, yet acts wickedly, will be the person to hear the words from Jesus. I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And so what this passage is saying is that disingenuous, pious performances are based off self-righteous works rather than the pure motive of true faith and genuine love. But is Paul guilty of being a hypocrite without fruit from his faith? Well, no. Paul's message was always the same. Jesus is Lord and Savior. We do what Jesus commands, and we do it with love so that we are not disqualified ourselves. Next, you cited Romans 10.13 as a contradiction of what Jesus taught, yet in that verse, Paul actually cited that from the prophet Joel in Joel 2.32. So are you saying that Jesus contradicted what the prophet Joel had said, even though Joel was one of the many prophets who paved the way for Lord Jesus. In addition, Peter quoted that passage from Joel in Acts 2, 17-21, when the prophecies and signs took place, which referred to the Messianic age. And so in proper context, all who call upon the name of the Lord implies exclusive covenantal worship of the only God who is able to save. Paul quotes Joel in Romans 10.13 because he, along with the other apostles, understood those verses to describe events in the Messianic age when Jews and Gentiles alike would be saved. Those whom the Lord calls are those who respond by calling on his name. And so if you claim that Paul is a false prophet, you would claim that Paul's message is false. Yet Paul's message was that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. We must put our faith in him and live obediently to his commands. But if that's your claim, then you're truly against the Lord, not Paul. It is quite evident through all of your lives who you truly are. You're just another worker of Satan, and you're not even that good at it. Back to you, Jim. Well, there you have it. She's a liar. We'll be seeing her again in our next episode. Stay tuned. Stop spreading those rumors